Hello everyone, this is Vivian here at VB Designs and today I am going to go through some of these items that are on my desk. It is going to be part of a junk journal challenge that I accepted. Um, Jessica from Paper Terrace issued a Dollar Tree junk journal challenge to anyone that wanted to participate and so I have accepted that challenge and these are the items that I have chosen to use. Um, some of the rules that um, Jessica stipulated for the challenge is you can't use more than $20 on um, your Dollar Tree items. Uh, right now I have a plethora of items from Dollar Tree that I've either just recently purchased or had in my stash already. Um, and so some of these items um, you'll see are out of their packages or partially used. That's because, again, I already had them in my stash and I thought, why should I go out and purchase more when I already have these? So um, I will be including those items in the price. Now, right now, um, what I have here, I figured is around $23. I am not going to use everything, but I wanted to give myself a little bit of a choice or a couple of options. Um, as I'm putting this journal together, um, when I do finish the journal, I will let you know how much, um, it cost as far as what I paid, uh, for Dollar Tree guidance. Now, the other stipulation is anything that you use as far as basic supplies go to put your journal together is not included in the actual $20 budget. That would include any glue, any tape, any kind of adhesive. That would also include any kind of tools you would use, uh, punches, uh, paper cutters, uh, scissors, you know, whatever that is. But everything else that you use in the actual journal will count. And so with that in mind, I am going to uh, show you some of the items that I have picked out for this junk journal challenge. So hopefully you will get a, a bit of inspiration here as far as what um, I am using. And if you want to... Uh, join the challenge you're welcome to I will leave all of Jessica's uh, information for paper terrace in the description where you can go to her YouTube channel and check out um, her YouTube's on the Dollar Tree junk journal challenge this is going to be a series um, and I'm not sure how many parts will be to this series but the first part is going to consist of just the items that I've chosen now, some of these, like I said, uh, I have shown in a Dollar Tree haul, um, and so you may recognize them. The first one is the basics of my junk journal, and this is this little bag here. It looks like a purse. Um, they have four different designs at Dollar Tree. I am going to use this in my junk journal class here at Artworks Gallery, where I have my studio. And my students are going to have a choice of the four different designs. Now, the design I'm using is this one right here. Um, it is, uh, again, a bag. Um, the covers uh, come off of the bag. So if you open it up, you will see there is just a, uh, you know, a regular bag inside. And it also has the same designs um, as the cover, paper, uh, cardboard cover on the bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, carefully take off this portion of the bag, which is the, the design of the uh, purse, and I will be using that as my cover. Now, the paper bag itself, I will be using as uh, the uh, paper for the inside of my book cover. And so that's what I'm going to be using uh, the bag for. And also, it already comes with these little ribbons right here. So these are the ties, and I will be using those. It also had a piece of cardboard that you put in the bottom for stability in your bag. 
and I will also be using this. So nothing is going to go to waste on this paper bag. I'll even use the scrap pieces uh, as part of my junk journal. So that's the first item. The next items are going to be the actual papers that I will be using in the signature portion of my junk journal. And uh, again, these are items that I already had in my stash and I am going to use these. I do know they came from Dollar Tree. First one, of course, is the Dollar Tree doilies. I will be coffee dyeing, tea dyeing, or um, I do have some color dyes that I may be using. Now, I know Jessica, on her challenge, she did purchase a um, jar of instant, or I'm sorry, she did purchase a, a box of tea, and she was going to use those uh, to tea dye her pages, but she was also going to use the tea bags in her journal. So she counted that as one of her items. I am not counting um, anything like uh, the coffee, the tea uh, for dyeing, any of the dyes that I use, I already have. Um, and so uh, I will be dyeing some of the papers or distressing them, um, whichever way I choose to do. But of course, the dailies, uh, or doilies are going to be, you know, one of the items that I will definitely be using. Um, next item I have here is actually, it is the um, paper pad, um, columnar pad. It's a ledger, and of course, it has, let me get this in here, it has uh, the pages. They're already, you know, green, and this will be uh, used as part of my signature. Again, I may distress it. I may coffee dye it. I may tea dye it. I haven't decided. Uh, I'll probably do a little of both and then make my choices as I put my signatures together. But this will be one of the, some of the pages that I'll use. Oops. The next page um, I'll be using is the sketch pad. And it's got lots of different um, pages still left in it. I even though I did use it, there's enough in here that I can put, you know, a couple of signatures together. And so I will again be tea dyeing, coffee dyeing, uh, color dyeing, you know, whatever I decide. And so I will be using that also. So this is the sketch pad. A uh, couple of things that I will also be including in my junk journal as far as paper items go are these. Now, <clears throat> one of them is um, Crafter Square has some six by six papers. Some of you have probably already um, maybe seen these in your Dollar Tree. They've been out for uh, since I think last fall. And they have, uh, it's almost like a seasonal, like a fall, a, a winter, a spring, a summer design. Um, this is the pack that I may use. I haven't decided yet, but it's got some some colors in here that I can use that would coordinate with the colors that I'm going to use in my junk journal. I can use these as tabs. I can use them as uh, tags. I can use them as pockets. Um, you know, a lot of different things that I can use this paper pad for. So this will be included. Um, I do have a couple of notepads here. They're the magnetic pads. As you can see, there's the magnets on the back. And um, these can be used in various ways. You can use them as side pockets. You can use them as tags. Uh, you can make, you know, uh, whatever you want out of them as far as embellishments, labels. Uh, one is just says notes. It has lines on it. It's got the little designs here um, that are similar to uh, what I am going to use as far as my colors go. Let me pull it out of the package so the glare isn't as bad. But as you can see, it's just a you know regular pad, and I thought that would be a very good uh, choice to use. The other one is. Uh, similar except it has the days of the week but the colors uh, will coordinate with the colors that I'm going to be using for my junk journal and again um, make labels out of these you can uh, make tags you can make writing cards whatever you want to do this will be included 
And then the last uh, item that I is in consideration are these napkins. Um, I like to make faux rice paper with my napkins. And so this is one of the things that uh, I will be doing. Uh, napkins usually have three layers. So you have your first layer, which is the actual uh, picture of the on the napkin. Your second layer can be like a ghost image of the picture. The third layer is usually plain white. So I have some choices as far as how I want to use them. I may use them as part of the signature itself. I may use them as pockets, envelopes, uh, whatever I choose to do. But I will be making some faux rice paper with the napkin. So that is uh, one of the items. As far as some other items that I will be including. Um, I do have a stencil that I purchased. Now, Dollar Tree has several different designs. I think they had flowers, butterflies, and birds. Um, I am going with the, the birds right now, but uh, again, I have all three stencils, so I may change my mind when I'm putting my journal together and decide I want to use the um, butterflies instead of the birds. Who knows? But I'll be using this as Part of the background on some of my journal pages uh, I can use it as you know on the tags uh, pockets you know whatever so I do have this then there's this little book called quotes from the heart that I got uh, at Dollar Tree it was also in one of my hauls that I showed um, and it came from the Valentine section but the pictures are really cute and the colors pretty much coordinate with the colors that I'm going to be using in my journal. So I have options of fussy cutting, cutting the words out, using these as maybe part of pockets, uh, cards, uh, writing, you know, journal cards on the back. You know, there's a lot of different options with these. And of course, be using the, the cover because it is a good hard card stock. Um, I could even fussy cut the little flowers out and put those uh, on uh, an embellishment or something. So there's a lot of options with this. Now I do have uh, a Dollar Tree stamp here from Crafter Square. They've got a lot of new ones out. So if you haven't checked out some of their new stamps, they have quite a few. The one that I chose um, has butterflies on it. It has flowers on it. It has a dragonfly, a little ladybug, a bumblebee. So it has a, a good variety of different types of stamps that I can use uh, for my junk journal. So I have that one. And of course I have my, some stickers and these are one of my favorite packs uh, at Dollar Tree and I buy this quite a bit. And it has birds on it and it's got some butterflies and some flowers. So I thought this would go well. The colors also go well with with the color scheme that I'm going to use on my journal. Then they have some uh, paper flowers here and I haven't decided if I'm going to use these or not because I do make my own paper flowers and so I may choose uh, to make paper flowers out of what I already have uh, and so this may be an item that I will eliminate altogether but it is an option in case I change my mind. And then these enamel dots. These can be used for, you know, a variety of different things for embellishments. And so I thought, well, I may or may not use these. So this is just another option that I might choose to use. I also picked up seed packets. And you can get these at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I got quite a few for my class because we'll be using these for pockets, um, you know, uh, little uh, and you don't really have to do a lot of embellishment but you know you can do some embellishment on them and so um, I'll be using this in my journal I also of course picked up some twine I noticed Jessica included twine in hers so she didn't include that in her basic supplies so I went ahead and purchased some twine because um, I'm going to need some extra spring colors for my class so I did purchase uh, another uh, three rolls here of the baker's twine and then I have these little mini clothespins that I showed on another uh, haul 
and I thought these were actually cute. I haven't decided, you know, if I'm going to decorate them or leave them plain, and I'll probably maybe do a combination of both. Um, so this is something that I will be using. And of course, ribbon. Now, I had these already in my stash, and so I know I'm going to be using this one. It's a gross grain, it's kind of a lime, or not a lime green, but a olive green color. It's got some uh, leaves, on, oops, not in the frame, leaves on it, uh, and it's very pretty, and it goes with my color scheme, so I know I'll be using this. And then, of course, the tried and true Dollar Tree lace. Um, everybody um, at one time or another has probably used this for something. And so I already had this in my stash, but I noticed on one of the YouTube channels that I was watching uh, on Dollar Tree hauls, a lady, and unfortunately I don't remember which channel it was or which YouTube um, lady, but anyway, she had found some one inch or one and a half inch lace trim at Dollar Tree on a roll in the beige. So I'm on the lookout for that. And if I can find it, I'm going to swap this one out for that one. So that may change. But these are the items right now that I have chosen for my Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge with Jessica. And again, I will leave her YouTube channel in the description below. It is Paper Terrace, I love watching her. She's a, a young mother with two children and she does junk journaling and she has her own shop. And so she issued this challenge. Of course, I accepted. And hopefully I've given you guys some inspiration on maybe going to Dollar Tree, purchasing some items. If you don't wanna join the actual challenge itself, you know, Go ahead and, um, you know, make your own junk journal and see what you can come up with with $20. I will be doing a series uh, with this challenge. And again, I don't know how many parts to this, this series will include, but um, I will be doing uh, the next uh, part of this series is taking this apart, showing you how I take it, the bag apart and then making the spine for the cover. So that will be uh, in the next video. And in the meantime, everybody have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye.